Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Team Fortress.tv. I'm Frick My Nick. I'm joined with Scream as my co-caster tonight and Looster on production. We are going to be casting Fruitech versus Glove World tonight. How you doing, Scream? I'm gaming. What's going on with you, Nicholas? Not a ton. To, uh, I'm looking at 12 in servers, so I don't know if we want to do a quick rundown of the uh, the rosters, but uh, you want to run down one of the rosters real quick for me, Scream? Yeah, I got you. You know the original Froyo lineup, Blaze, Banny, Awek, Nursey, Yams, and Habib. And then for Glove World, you got Vadi, Shiny, Phone, Paul Dog, Tambo, J. Yes, we are going to see Jay on Medic for Glove World. They have a bit of a Medic switch-up situation. To my understanding, uh, having talked to Shiny about this, he is my son after all, um, is that Plaid like left the team and then they got Indus, but Indus is on vacation, so Jay, their sub, is actually stepping in. And we are going to be going live. So uh, going into this first move, who are the players to watch, Scream? Definitely Habib and probably Tambo to see what he does on tower if he jumps it. Yeah, I think this uh this is gonna be a tough mid for Vadi. We're gonna see Habib here a little bit quickly. Both demos moving to their left. Habib getting a ton of early damage into the side of Glove World. Habib quite weak as well. Shiny down to just seven HP. We're gonna see Blaze jumping out and trying to get an arrow in his own valley. And uh, both teams are just playing ringer around the rosy. We're gonna see a huge bomb out of Yomps. He's gonna pick up Vadi early. A demo man down is not good. We're gonna see the re-aggression here. Phone's gonna go down the get singled Ooh, out and Tambo's short to fall. But Blade it looks like... from behind gets cut out. Yeah, but Paul Dog, Shiny, and Jay are gonna make it out. It is gonna be a Froyo mid, but Jay is gonna live, so they're gonna have a chance to own second here. But, but they're they're oh, behind, Jay. So they're they're behind gonna... in the wrong cafe. Oh, this is not good for Glove World. They're gonna have to try and take an exchange before uh, they get either the cap on two or make it back to last. If Froyo just they might be able to just roll straight in the last here. It looks like what we're going to do. They're going to take it underneath. It's going to be Yams and Bandy. They're going to go straight to the point. Uh, there's an upgrading sentry gun, but there's no stickies on the point, and nobody's in a position to contest. Glove World's not even going to have a try and uh, get a chance to Uber on last, and it's going to be a quick 1-0 for Freya. Also gets blind dead by Habib. It's actually really funny when he jumped bats, so... Yeah, just... Really fatal mistake getting caught behind there. They, they had to move a little bit faster to try to catch up with Froyo just walking straight on. That's a dangerous game you play on uh, Sunshine mid to be wrapping around, and we're going to see another mid where a ton of damage early from Habib. Both Jay and Vadi are both weak. Uh, Blaze weak on the other side. He's going to get aired up by Nursi, and again, Glove World is playing the wrapping game, and uh, Jay's doing a really good job keeping healthy. Paul Dock's actually going to find the first pick and a trade out with Yomps here. We're going to see a big bomb out of Tambo, opting to get some positioning in the Veltar, but he's going to get piped by Habib, and Bones down to just 12 HP. And Shiny's down solo as well, and they're just going to get the clean up here. Shiny is going to get the consolation for I got into Blades, but that's all they're going to find. It's just Phone versus the world, and he's going to go down. Yeah, just just kind of looked like there. Froyo played the ring around the Rosie better. They, they played their positioning and high ground a lot better. They took heals, and it seemed just... Glove World took a lot of damage on that mid. Yeah, and Freya's wasting no time getting into last year. Manny and Habib already peeking the top right, trying to spam down the gun. Uh, Jay is going to be at a full uber disad. They're going to run the uh, the sniper in the left spawn in phone, and Shiny on the right side with the engineer. He's going to have a level 2. Vadi getting the class 6 diggies on point, and it looks like Freya's gearing up to try and push. They're going to come in underneath. It's going to be Habib and Habani. They're going to get in. They're going to be trying to get some space on the point. Habib's going to move all the stickies. Bane's going to try and get on the point. The Pyro's going to come out. They're going to be trying to recontest, but two down, though. Glove World's numbers are dwindling. Jay's at about 50%, so there's no Uber in any time, and they're going to focus down the frags. It's just Vadi and Jay versus the world, and they're going to all get cleaned up here. Vadi's going to go down. Froyo delaying the cap to get the frag. Just a good good Uber out push there from Froyo. Didn't, didn't get too aggressive, traded out their picks, and uh, just... Basically, just took the DM fight and cleaned that up. Yeah, so we're going to see a quick 2-0, not even four minutes into the game for Froyo Tech. The, uh, you know, reigning NA champions, because they did not participate in the last uh, international LAN here, are uh, showing their prowess. And we're going to see a huge bomb out of place on top of the other team's cafe. He's going to drop down in between both scouts. He's going to get shredded there. Tambo and Jay are going to die on the other side of things, though. Banny and Yom's making up on the space that plays me. Shiny's going to go down here shortly. It's the flank here that's going to try and make something happen. Paul Dog's going to get in, going to find a really good first rock on a nurse. He's going to miss that air shot, though. And it only Blaze dying in the mid. Freya is winning another mid. It just seems like Glove World is spreading really thin and just eating glue to just soldier bombs and spam. Like, Blaze died there, but the amount of damage and distraction he put in won his team that mid. 
Yeah, and again, Froyo is so aggressive in the last shot, he's not even able to build a gun. He's just gonna opt to try and play a scout. And uh, Phone's gonna be on the sniper trying to hold it down on the left side here. And it looks like Froyo's gearing up on the top right side here. That's where their heels and Habib are. They're gonna pop Habib in, and uh, he's gonna try and sticky the spawner. He's actually gonna get body shots, gonna stun his jump. He's gonna meet them at the spawner. He's gonna find a ton of damage into Phone and Jay. Shiny's gonna eat a pipe. He's doing so much damage. Jay's gonna die, and Tambo's gonna follow. It's just the scouts from uh, Glove World trying to make magic happen, but it's gonna be a quick 3 0 half for Furia. Right, it's five minutes, three rounds. Holy Jesus. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, as expected, I think Furia is dominating this match, but, uh, you know, I think Glove World is hoping, especially because at least their goal is to try and break past that fourth place barrier. Um, at least in their minds from talking to Shiny and Co, they feel they pretty make, comfortably make that fourth place seed, but they're looking to try and break past that, and, uh, I don't know exactly what's going wrong for them. It looks like the mids are a big part of it, like, they're just not able to get a hold in the mids, but, uh, they're just getting rolled really hard right now by Freya, and if they want to try and make it past that fourth place spot, they need to make some adjustments. Yeah, what I'd like to see on mid is that they should commit to their soldier bombs. Like, when Tambo and Paul Dog get in, it seems like the scouts are kind of running through the same lane, so, like, you have just Yomps and Eric looking in the air for the soldiers, and then you have, like, Habib just locking down that angle, like, when Glove World's trying to walk forward, so if Glove World does the thing where they kind of passively bomb their soldiers instead of fully committing but like if they if they, if they are gonna aggro bomb their soldiers they need to all walk forward in different areas preferably yeah i would agree with that we are going to be going live with our second half here it is 3-0 for froyo tech and uh we're going to be going into our fourth mid here habib we're arriving at the oh body's actually really leaked at this mid here habib gonna get a ton of early damage if on the left side here Habib's actually getting the uh, the worst end of this demo v demo. Vadi finding a ton of damage on him early. Vadi down to 7 HP. He's going to get punished over his over aggression. Habib did go down to about 7 HP. He's going to get killed up. Eric down really low. Paul Dog trying to commit off that weak scout, but he's just going to go down. Phone should die here shortly, down to 1 HP. He's going to go down. Jay has lived this mid, and he is on the correct side of mid, so if they don't die in this transition, this is uh, better than the first three mids went for them. This last can actually be holdable now. Uh, in theory, Froyo is really good at like just transitions and making sure they keep the momentum rolling. It wouldn't surprise me to see like an off-timing sack here. It looks like Love World wants to try and go. Oh, Jay is actually on the crits. Uh, so he built faster than Nursey. So there's actually a small window here. Tambo is actually going to get popped off, but Nursey gets it right as they pop. Unfortunate timing if they had gone just a second or two earlier. Tambo is going to go down. Froyo is going to get the cap on too, but it looks like Love World's going to make it back to last. Phone's actually caught in dungeon. He's going to go down. So there are two picks for Froyo tech. This is huge push territory. Oh, and Paul gets a pick on Habib top left in two nice rockets, and I think that might cancel his push here. No, Bandy gonna get no, really Bandy's aggressive with Nursi on the right. Yeah, Bandy's Blaze just gonna in bomb top right. Through. He's got his 185, making the space for his team. Blaze is gonna bomb in by the pick on a shiny. He was trying to challenge Bandy. Paul Dog in the corner is gonna go down. Body's gonna trade out a frag there onto Yomps. He's actually gonna get Blaze as well. It's actually gonna end up being a uh, 3v2. Jay's gonna go down though. That's so unfortunate. Habib arriving off the respawn meet up with his team. It's just Phone versus the world. He's gonna go down. It's gonna be a quick 4-0 for Froyo Tech. I'm just... Glover played their spawns pretty well there, but it just seemed that Froyo Tech really played their scouts around heals a lot better than Glove World did and ended up winning them their own. Yep, so we are going to be going into our fifth mid again. Havadi's actually a little faster than Habib on this one. Havadi going his right side, trying to meet Froyo Tech. Habib playing his left. He's going to get challenged here. There's a scout in the uh, Glove World Cafe, and there's going to be a high bomb out of the soldier trying to make some space for his team. The scout's going to recommit. He's actually going to get Jay in the choke, so Glove World needs to find a pick onto Nursi and find it fast. Otherwise, the skill scenario is not going to be good for them. Everybody on Furio come back to heals, and it looks like Glove World's just going to leave the mid and not to try and set up on two, despite the fact that they've uh, lost their medic. And we are going to see the uh, the recommit out of a couple players from Glove World. It looks like Phone was uh, still in, as well as Paul Dog just delaying. Tambo and Vadi are going to make it out. They're going to meet up with their spawner of J, but again, another mid win, another dominant would for Furio. Yeah, it just seemed like Glove World got caught out and choked there and just literally couldn't get out there's absolutely no room and jay got picked really early and we're gonna see a sack there from tambo he's gonna go down not gonna get much damage shiny oh, shiny's gonna get cleaned up 
No. Yeah, I don't know if he got juggled in or if it was just a damage call on something, but shiny overcommit. Being two man down and at full duper instead, this is not looking good for Glove Wars. Paul Duck's gonna bomb before the they point. Get... Yeah, the Fro you Hoover's in the last, but Paul Duck's actually uh oh he's gonna lose the 1v1 to Eric though. He delayed the cap for what he could. Habib is gonna go down to the small consolation price. They are getting their spawns, they're gonna get a soldier in on the point. Vadi's gonna come in off the respawn. It's Vadi versus both the scouts and the soldier, but he's gonna get oh. cleaned up, and it's gonna be a very quick 5-0 for Froyo. Yeah, a little less than I think that might have been actually less than ten minutes. That entire yes. game. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's rough. I mean, there was a couple opportunities for Glove World. They were looking pretty good after that fourth mid. It looks like they had uh, kind of learned their lesson, maybe weren't committing to the mid so hard, just seeing if they could get something and playing a little more passive with Jay, but that was that was rough for out of Glove World. Yeah, it might, it might come from the fact that they just played a match against Kingscrew on goalie, but they they really just almost in every way got outplayed by Froyo there and Froyo didn't really have to think much. They kinda just not even like took a lot of DM fights, they just took the better fights and the chances that Glove World had to choose their fights. Yeah, that was a, a rough second half, a three minute second half there for Froyo Tech. Banny going seven and zero, Nursey also having a uh, a perfect half. I wonder if Nursi had a perfect first half. Let me check here. Nursi, in fact, had a perfect half, and Banny had a perfect first half, too. So <laughs> the combo from Furio Tech having an absolutely perfect game. I mean, Banny, you know, tenured invite player. He's been doing this for a very long time at the top level. It's surprising to even see him lose when they do lose on the occasion, but he, was, he definitely showed his dominance today. Yeah, just absolutely no chance from Glove World to do anything about that. Like so how yeah, long I don't know if there's three, a I don't know if it's three, a three and a half minute second second half and the first, first half, half was like four twenty. Oh my wow, that was a seven minute and forty nine second match. That is a speed run caliber time. Yeah, I mean, Glove just really never found their positionings on the mid. Like the Furious Soldiers were able to make so much space for their team and almost always just get like a trade frag. Like they were able to push players like just behind Tatras and, you know, Glove really just never was able to find that position to try and claw it back. And then the one mid that they did have that they didn't lose Jay, they were actually on crits and they just got Ubered into and lost two players. And yeah, like I said, I don't even want to try and dissect the stats because there's really not a lot to look at. I mean, that was basically the story of the game was just you know, Glove World really never found their footing on the mids. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, is there, is RDL casting another game, or are they only doing the 930 game? Alright, I'm being told they only had the game? 930, so. Uh, I think that's all we have for tonight, folks. I don't know if you want to have any other words scream. Uh, there's not really much to say. Kind of just got rolled. Yeah, so uh, I've been Frick My Nick, joined by Scream and Looster. This oh, has yeah. been our cast of uh, Glove World versus Free Attack. Hope everybody has a good night.